kabam we're here steve largent review guys max security 100 x factor and that's what's going to help separate him a little bit compared to other wide receivers because not every wide receiver has that and across the middle he's going to be good so hit the like button right now it helps me know if you want more reviews and i do appreciate the support now steve largent being a 511 guy you're obviously not wanting to go do the spec catches with him you're not going to want to throw jump balls um as we know this year when you're six three and up it really helps like do a box out to catch that so do keep that in mind that this card is not going to be what you want to do for that uh, Atrella Owens is pretty glitchy for that. Calvin Johnson, Randy Moss, obviously. But um, I will tell you, this card, it has its weaknesses and it has its strength. So it's going to be basically like the opposite of a Tyree Kill. Tyree Kill is going to be a burner and uh, a guy that you don't want to put across the middle because you can't really can't catch that well. And this guy's gonna be put across the middle, you can't run deep. So, the lack of speed on this card does make up for it in a different way, for sure. And guys, don't forget to send me a picture of your team on my Twitter so I can put you in a video. And let me know if you want your name in the video. If not, if you don't tell me, I just won't put your name in the video. Um, I'm gonna rate your team. I'm going to give you suggestions and if you have any questions about that uh, look at my channel I have previous videos like that and I will tell you that how to save your coins where to upgrade where to downgrade save your coins for somebody that's cheaper it does the same thing and um, so make sure you guys tweet me my link is in my description and guys Steve Largent is going to be the guy that's going to be able to help your team if you don't have this kind of wide receiver. A lot of people build their teams just to be speed wide receivers. And this guy is going to help you across the middle more. You need players to play different ways so you can use it and really open up your offense in a different way. So with this card, I do have a 97 speed for the review because I do have Sprinter on him as well as being powered up so he's not going to be the top tier speed for sure but he's not going to have top tier strength either so i will tell you though his carry is pretty high and you could feel that and he's so reliable when it comes to taking hit sticks um his blocking there's nothing special there he's just about middle here for that but as you see here if you guys run a curl with this ball with this wide receiver and possess and catch it's going to be pretty hard to stop because he's going to hang on to that especially put an x factor on him catching traffic is going to be an a he's definitely in game for catching traffic um the only problem is he doesn't have top top tier speed so trying to get away from some people um to get open sometimes is gonna be a problem with the route running but it is going to be an A because it doesn't mean all the thresholds. But it's not going to be A plus because of the speed. As you see here, he gets away for a touchdown. Uh, spec catch is B plus, guys. I'm not saying you can't trigger it. I'm saying it's not going to be consistent at all. So do not really rely on that. But if you guys see there, I thought he should have had that. And he's not going to be perfect. But his release is an A minus. He didn't get caught off the line too many times. I saw him once or twice. But um, he's been pretty reliable getting off the line if you get jammed. Overall, he is an A minus. Um, but if you guys have any questions about this card, let me know down below. And as always, guys, help others for no reason. It is the point of the video and the message. And um, guys, I'm probably going to be doing a uh, recap video coming up and a pack opening. So do look out for that. Him versus Jerry Rice, he's definitely a downgrade Jerry Rice. He's basically 
just a worse than Cherry Rice. Him versus Randy Moss, no competition. Moss is way better in every way, um, except for maybe catching traffic with the X Factor Activate. He may be better than that um, to use the ability. But besides that, he's not going to win anything else. Guys, thank you for everything. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for sharing with your friends. Thank you for support. Thank you for the retweets on Twitter. I do appreciate it. And I'm out. I will see you next time.